Hey everyone, it's Johnny, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And today we have kind of a random video of, of Sensi haul, if you will. Um, I apologize. I haven't posted anything in a couple weeks. I actually had to take a somewhat emergency, uh, plane flight back to visit my folks, uh, cross country and deal with some family emergency issues. Uh, so it's been a little bit of a whirlwind in my life and just things got away from me. So I apologize for being missing in action. Uh, I am back. I have a bunch of videos that now I have to do, uh, as well as some that I never quite got a chance to release in the meantime. But today's video is going to be just taking a really quick look at the three giant boxes of Scentsy stuff that have showed up in my absence uh, back here in Southern California and to see kind of what is in there. Uh, and some of these stuff will be uh, more described in detail in upcoming videos now that I'll have a chance to kind of like get through them and put them all together. So without further ado, we're just gonna go and dive right in and see what showed up. Hopefully everything did and just kind of breeze through this. <clears throat> So I do know that there is, uh, I just kind of opened the boxes. I didn't kind of pull anything out just yet, uh, that there are some summer collection things that I will do a separate video and go a little bit more in depth on with first sniffs, um, as well as like some clearance stuff, I believe that I ordered, um, as well as some things for customers. So let's just pull things out and find out what we have. So it looks like we do have uh, a... Uh, this is the cleaning bundle from the summer collection in Mandarin and Mango Nectar. So I don't know if this is still available. It may be, but it's counter clean and dish soap uh, sold as a set. Uh, again, I'll do a summer collection video from the things that are here for the summer collection. Also from said summer collection, looks like they put all the summer stuff together, uh, is the Mandala Mason Jar Warmer. So we'll do this in the summer unboxing. It is an Edison warmer, I believe, if I recall correctly. So we won't necessarily be doing anything with colored bulbs, but maybe we will. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Next, it looks like also from the uh, summer collection, we have the laundry liquid and washer whiffs in Fiji flower. So I haven't smelled this yet. I don't know what this smells like, uh, but I do tend to enjoy floral. So hopefully it's more of a fresh floral rather than Lush Gardenia part 17, um, but if it is, you know, I have a friend who would really love it then. Uh, looks like we have a Scentsy Soak in Coconut Daiquiri from the Summer Collection as well. I love our Scentsy Soaks. Uh, I use them both for like foot soaks or for like soaking in the bathtub, which is what, the, you know, the traditional thing or like hand soaks. If you just want to like rest your tired, sore hands or feet. Uh, at the end of the day. Great for that. Uh, really enjoy it. So that's one of my, my guilty pleasures. I might, I might have to schedule one of those soaks in this week after all the madness in my life. Uh, we have a laundry liquid bundle here in the scent Luna. Always a tried and true scent in the laundry line. It's probably one of my favorite ones. It tends to be uh, it tends to linger pretty well on whatever you wash and clean with it um, without being overwhelming. Uh, some of the problems that I've had with some of the other scents is that they're beautiful, but maybe they don't linger as long or they're quite light. For example, Amazon Rain, it's a beautiful one, but I find that I have to use uh, a lot more washer whiff to get bang for my buck with that one. All right, and it looks like we have a bunch of bars. Oh, and some other things. What do we have here? We have car bars in uh, Atlantic Air, Amazon Rain, and looks like Luna. I think these are for a customer, so to double check my my customer list. <clears throat> all right, and then we have a bunch of bars. So let me pull all these out. Wow. All right, so we have some Star Wars bars. We have Light Side, Dark Side, and Mandalorian. These are all great scents. Light Side is kind of like a fresh sort of laundry-esque scent, not quite 
love it. Uh, it lasts really well, and it, it's just, it's a nice, uplifting fragrance. Uh, Dark Side is uh, like a ginger, agar wood, sort of like masculine, but still like there's a zingy freshness to it. So really enjoy that uh, if you like cologne scents. Uh, and then Mandalorian is this uh, sort of like earthy geranium dirt um, fresh sort of scent. It sounds like, it sounds weird me saying that. And there's also like a mint note in there. Um, but it just is like this fresh um, sort of spa almost quality scent. It is lighter. It's probably the lightest of the three in my personal uh, remembrance of how they perform. I think light side was probably the strongest followed by dark and then Mandalorian, but you never know. So I've got, I have bars of those to try over again. We have, it looks like a bar of Bloomin' Beach. This is from the Mother's Day collection, I want to say. Uh, and I haven't smelled this one. Ooh, this is like a sweet, slightly, it's just a slight, slightly, there's a slight fruity note to this. But it's like a sweet floral, fresh floral. It kind of reminds me, there's a little bit of like a, a dewy aquatic note to this. I don't have the set notes on me. I should have, I should have brought that. Hindsight's 2020. Um, yeah, it's a nice fresh floral. It's not, um, if you remember that Mother's Day scent from last year, uh, picked for you, it's not like that. Uh, it has like the fresh floral quality, but it's not quite as, um, dewy and, like, refreshing spa. This kind of reminds me a little bit like a more, I guess a little bit more of a seaside version of Spring Has Sprung. Um, it's like that fresh floral note, but it, it has a little bit more of, like, a either, like, a crispness or an ocean vibe. Not, like, super salty or anything like that. But there's just there's a little extra to this. That's cool. All right, then we have a, a bar of pink sugar berry mint. This is like a sweet berry. I don't know if I really got mint out of this. It's like almost a candied berry sort of smell. It's really nice. Um, but I remember wanting to get another bar to make sure that it was something I, whether or not I want to put in my club or not. Then this is uh, Disney Princesses. True love awaits. And this one, I did warm a bar of this. I'll have this in one of my uh, upcoming uh, fragrance feedbacks, but um, I like this one. I'm not sure that I love it. It is like sort of a quasi floral, sweet scent. God, if I remember. Like a berry note of some sort. Yeah. Um, I remember I liked it, but I don't remember, God, it's been a couple weeks now, um, if I particularly was, like, wowed about it. So maybe I'll throw this in the warmers in the next day or so, so I can remember. <clears throat> then we have the end of the month from, I want to say, this last, not this month, April. April, not May. Uh, Plumeria Peach. This is surprising because I remember warming this and thinking, oh, I'm going to hate this. It's peach. I know this is not a fragrance feedback review, but it's a really nice, it, it gives me like a floral spin on apricot vanilla minus the vanilla and obviously the apricot, but it's kind of in the same sort of scent vein as that. So I actually kind of enjoyed it. We have a bar of Mystery Man. This is a cedar bergamot scent. Really nice cologne, like a fresh cologne. Uh, I wanted to try one of those again because the last time I tried it, it just seemed to like not last in the room. So, which is unusual for a cedar based scent. So we're gonna try it again. Then we have Fiji Flower. This is one of the new uh, summer collection ones. Uh, Blue Agave and Melon is another one. I'm not gonna sniff these just yet. I'll save that for the summer collection. Coconut Daiquiri and Mandarin and Mango Nectar. So those are four from the summer collection and we will sniff through those a little bit more in depth uh, in the summer collection haul video. <clears throat> and we have a bar of My Hero, which is a great, 
great masculine scent. Uh, this is a Father's Day last year, uh, 2020 scent, and then it joined our regular catalog for the spring summer, which was really exciting because it's definitely one of my favorites from that collection. All right, what else do we have here? That's one box done. In our next monstrous box, oh, we have the <clears throat> Hope Strength and Love Warmer. This is a charitable cause warmer from last uh, year. And I decided to pick it up uh, when we do the warmer video about this with color bulbs and everything. I'll talk a little bit more why I picked this one up. Um, but it is in clearance, I think, still available. And it is a beautiful warmer. Um, and it's going to have kind of more of a special meaning now. Uh, we have a warmer, a warmer, a diffuser shade. This is all from the clearance section. This is the Reach diffuser shade, which is a uh, kind of, I want to say like lattice, woodsy sort of tree look warmer cover. Diffuser cover. I keep saying warmer cover. Bad habit. <clears throat> Let me pull it out and show you. So this is one that uh, if you like sort of woodsy vibes or indoors meets outdoors, this might be a great uh, diffuser shade to pick up for your premium diffuser, especially because it's in clearance. I wasn't originally particularly thrilled with the kind of golden cast... Um, color of the internal non-metal part but after seeing how it looked with di the different lighting effects of our premium diffusers I was kind of hooked with this one so uh, you could change the color on your premium diffuser based on the season or your mood and then you have this kind of pretty um, metal tree design so was originally like milling about it for a while and I was like why not let's get it and see and now that I'm kind of seeing it up and close in person I'm enjoying it that much more maybe I will switch it out with my diffuser that I currently have right behind me just to switch things up we'll see all right so let me move that over then we also have in here it looks like some room sprays we have Room Spray and Amazon Rain, always a classic, great scent. We have Plumeria Peach, this is April's scent of the month. We have, oh, Snapdragon. This reminds me of like those garden centers where you go buy like annuals or the little flats of flowers and you can buy them. Um, it reminds me, gives me like childhood memories uh, with my grandma. So while the bar doesn't necessarily perform as well as I'd love it to in terms of longevity, the scent is spot on for what I was hoping for. So I decided to pick up in a room spray and see how that might uh, work out relative to warming it in wax farm. I have one of Be Fabulous here. This is a great um, citrus, slightly musky, um, lemony scent, very fresh, kind of sparkling, and it's just... It's so good. Um, and I'm not a huge citrus person, but that's that's definitely been like a gateway into citrus through that scent. Uh, we have My Hero, which is again a cologne scent. It was a Father's Day release last year and is now part of our regular catalog for now. And Sand Swept, which is a nice um, kind of, what is it? Like driftwoody, sandstone, kind of muted soft seaside vibe sort of sense. Quite nice. All right, what else do we have in here? We have another laundry bundle hiding in here. This one is in Palm Beach Breeze. Now, this is a scent that I um, remember from our summer collection last year that was available in wax form and a couple other things. And then they brought it into the catalog I believe as a like laundry line now and I'm curious to see how it's going to perform in laundry uh I don't quite remember what this smells like to be very honest with you uh but I remember really liking it because I have the bar in my Scentsy Club I just don't think I have a bar of it on hand at this point um so needless to say I was like let's let's go ahead let's get it in the the laundry liquid bundle 
uh, cause I was running out of laundry liquid bundles stuff and we will find out how it goes. <laughs> All right, next we have a random purple bulb. Really exciting guys. Um, not that I like purple or anything. Uh, and then we have the Aspen Mini Warmer. So I don't usually get mini warmers. Uh, I just don't tend to use them. I prefer the full size warmers in general. Um, but the kind of indoors, outdoors kind of metal work on the outside kind of impressed me enough to pick it up. So let's take a look at what it's going to look like. I won't um, plug it in just because I don't have my outlet there. Oh, okay. I didn't expect it to be this color. So most of our nightlight warmers, they come with a, a base that you'll, you'll screw the shade, if you will, onto it. But this is the Aspen Mini Warmers actual shade. So it is glass. It is glass up there. But what's interesting is I was expecting the metal part of this, the leaf work, to be black. I don't know why I thought it was like a black looking thing. And maybe it was because I saw all of the pictures and I assumed that it was going to be a black um, metal work. But it is actually this kind of brassy, sort of rubbed brass, oil slick brass, whatever you want to call it, um, finish, which I don't mind. And I'm sure like when you put your, you know, corresponding colored bulb or plain bulb in here, it will look more just like the silhouette of it. But it's very interesting. I just, I didn't expect it to be that color. Surprise, surprise. All right. I'm not mad about it though. Not mad about it. Just not what I expected. All right. Let me put that in there. And then finally, it looks like, what is this box? I think this might be the June 2021 scent and warmer of the month kit. And it is. So I will go in more depth in this one with this one in a separate video. But for those of you who are not familiar with the scent and warmer of the month kits, they come with some marketing materials, bars, a room spray, and in this case, I got the one with the warmer because it's gorgeous. And I'm so excited to share it with you. And I'm pretty sure it's a 25 watt warmer. And if it is, which I do believe it is, we will be playing with colored bulbs in the video as well. So that is all of the Scentsy Madness that I currently have. I felt like there was something else, but if there was, I clearly forgot to put it right next to me. Uh, hopefully this is a fun video. I am backed into doing these videos more consistently. Uh, and I do have some exciting things to share with you, including a wax haul from when I was back visiting my parents in Michigan uh, as a complimentary with some warmers that I picked up there that I cannot find anywhere in California because we don't have those stores over there. So that was pretty exciting. We'll do a video on that. Uh, I also was kindly gifted um, some wax from one of my YouTube subscribers and viewers, uh, Miss Amaris. And I do have some of those uh, first sniffs to go over with all of you and share because there are so many exciting wax scents and I've never tried any of the ones, the brands that she uh, was kind of enough to share with me. They were all different vendor waxes and I am so excited to worm them now that I'm back and have access to them again. So we will be going through those as well. Um, but in the meantime, thank you for hanging out and waiting for me to show back up again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing. And I will see you very soon in one of the several videos that will be coming up on my channel. Take care, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.